Hi, my name's Carmel Slater and I'm a watercolour artist. I live in the Southern Highlands in a beautiful uh, small village called Bindulo. It's very much tucked away in the forest and uh, that's how we like it, it's sort of off the map. Uh, and we moved there five years ago to start a family and you know we found uh, mountain bike riding and, and bushwalks and uh, for me it's all about those trees and I find that you know along the years you know I've been born in the country that we've always bushwalked and you know we'd go to see nature and observe nature but I find now that I'm older that it's a lot more than that in that you know we go to observe but the same time we're being observed by the animals that we see which I, I really love. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you've been given? Um, there's so much out there which is wonderful there's so much support now for artists uh, but for me when I heard um, you know enjoy the process and, and do it for the process that really rang true for me because I think most artists they might have that blank canvas and they're like worried about you know where to start and I often find I have conversations with my artwork which artwork which I think sounds strange but a lot of people do I, I often have the artwork say that's it step out of the room I don't want to see you for a few days <laughs> and, and then I can come back and I know exactly what it needs to be finished and so that's a lot of you know I love that the point that when you can sign your name and step back and be proud of, of that I love the art trailer it's such a, an amazing um, I guess place that we all live in and the support we get but you know when we're painting by ourselves in the studio you know that's wonderful but to have that connection with people to come to visit is really important for me anyway and I, I discovered long ago that you know what I want with my art is that you know ideally that people look at it and I want my art to sort of collect smiles you know that's ideally what it does you know if someone sees it hopefully that's what is going to happen um, I'm okay if it doesn't, um, but this year will be interesting because people are hiding their smiles. I won't know oh. how they're feeling, <laughs> but I guess I'll be looking at people's eyes to see if they're smiling with their eyes. But also I end up, I find that, you know, I end up talking to the visitors about what they're passionate about. And I love it when someone will say, I've always wanted to, you know, I've always wanted to try watercolour or, or woodwork or, or, you know, have a go at something, but they're a little hesitant. So I hope that the art trail, and I do see it like this, that everybody is creative and the art trail really opens a door for anyone to say, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go to the art shop after visiting some of these artists on the art trail and just have a go. And I think with COVID, why not? We're stuck at home, just whatever it is, follow it up. Mm -hmm.